Hey everybody, hope your weekend's off to a great start. Mine is off to a horrible one. Why? Because I'm in the attic where it's about 95 degrees. We're outside, it's about 80 with a nice breeze where I'd rather be. But instead, I have a lot of stuff that has to go from the spare bedroom that uh, Tanya uses as her changing area up to the attic because uh, she has a friend coming in a week and the stuff has to get up here. Uh, and she's been asking me, I guess, for a month and I've been avoiding it for a month because part of it, I have to make room for all the stuff, and I just didn't want to be up here when it's so hot. But I guess now, on a gorgeous day, I really dropped myself on the foot on this de deal because I could have been outside enjoying a nice day doing, like, yard work. Instead, I'm in the hottest place in North Carolina, which is my attic, which is like 100 degrees up here. Part of the problem is not my stuff, it's what the other people left behind that I have to clean this up so I have room to put stuff because this stuff's all in my way. So first thing first, use those trash bags right there, get rid of these boxes and all this crap here on the ground, give myself some space to work with. Really I only have, you know, five or six things that have to come up here, but with this stuff in the way, it does, doesn't help me out at all. So uh, let's get to work. Thank God that's over. She asked me to put one more thing in that attic. It ain't happening until December. This has to be one of the best days that we've had all summer. It's 77 degrees, a slight breeze. I'm gonna try to do about an hour and a half workout, walk, run, kind of see where I am, see how far I can go in an hour and a half. Now I have three and a half hours when I do that half marathon to complete it, uh, so the balloon ladies don't pick me up and I don't get my medal. Uh, so this would be a good test with a, about a hundred days left until the race to see where I'm at. So you ready? Let's go run. I'm a 5K in with 45 more minutes to go. So if I can get another 5K in, that's gonna put me at seven, well, 6.4 miles. So I'm really gonna aim uh, to kind of do a cool down to get me to seven miles. So it might put me a couple minutes over the hour and a half mark, but that makes me know that in an hour and a half, a little over an hour and a half, I can get to half of the race and uh, gives me two hours to finish six miles, which I, I should be able to do. Uh, just gotta be, build up that endurance. Seven miles uh, and an hour and 45 minutes. I feel really good about that. Uh, man, it is a perfect day out for this run. Now we got a shower, change, and head over to the porterhouse and go see my family, my brother and my sister-in-law, my niece and nephew. Uh, they're all going to be there as well as all the porters. So uh, let's get going. All right, we've made it to the porterhouse. My nephew Nick is on his way to Marion Military Institute to start college uh, and prepare himself to go to West Point next year. Are you, are you excited about this? Very. Very excited. Uh, he's going a week early right now because of uh, cross country. So he's going to run cross country there. Uh, and uh, what, what's, what else? What are you studying? Tell it to everybody. Well, um, Marion doesn't have the program I'm really looking for. But, um, you know, wherever the government sends me, I go. Yep. Um, so my major at Marion will be calculus. Calculus. And then I'll use that to go into physics at West Point. So he's going to do physics, uh, and that's what he's going to get. And you're going to, your goal is to get a doctorate. Right. Yep. So the first doctor in the family. You ready for that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Are you, we're going to have to call you doctor? You could. Right. I'd go for it. I, I don't know if I'm going to call you doctor. 
Maybe. I might. If you do, if you do nine years of school, I might have to call you back. Thank you. Okay. All right, we'll see the rest of the family. And uh, But it was good to see you. I'm glad we were able to stop in on your 18-hour trek to college. Uh, and uh, we'll see more of Nick, hopefully, uh, in the next coming months as well, since you're so close. But good luck. As, as I said, the, the rest of the family's here, even the unfunny people, like my brother. You only have are one. You, are you looking for your sense of humor? You only have. <laughs> you only have one brother, and it's me. Uh huh. Can, can we go back to the video, for, for the live chat a couple of weeks ago when people were? I'll put a link to the that live I chat. The, that I was the funnier one. I don't know if I. I think they were just being kind because they, you know, because you invited everybody here and only Wesley showed up. <laughs> only Wesley showed up. Now Wesley, uh, your opinion? Who's funnier, me or my brother? Yeah, my fraternity brother and all, but I gotta go, your brother. He's been roasting you all night. <laughs> Please don't delete that one. Please dead, don't delete dead, that one. Dead to me. <laughs>[Speaker B it works it works a lot it just I just hate it it's so hot it's just tight and it's going up and down those steps and uh, I hate it but I got that over with I felt like my run today was really good went out seven miles in an hour and 45 minutes so I really feel like I'm improving I know at this point worst case scenario I could have made it 13.1 miles I could have made it and in under three hours and 30 minutes would have been close those balloon ladies at the for the disney you know run races they come after you but i think i would have been able to finish before they got me um but uh my training will continue because i would like to get to the hour and a half mark and be at like seven or eight miles knowing i'm 12 to 
20 minutes ahead of the balloon ladies. That's my goal. Tomorrow, Tanya and I are off to uh, Metaloni Cellars, where we're going to be getting married on Cinco de Mayo. We're going to look at some decor options, how we're going to decorate, where we're going to place things. Uh, plus, the Band of Oz is going to be there. They're doing a whole big uh, shindig. So, should be a fun day, relaxing, enjoying music, and hanging out uh, at the winery. Uh, so, look forward to that in the vlog. Maybe try to fly the drone? Mm, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try. We'll see what happens. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, click the little subscribe button. I'd love to have you as part of the Spaz 24-7 family. And Spaz out.